Fallen Friend, The Death of Miss Marvel. Pretty cool uh, little cover here. <laughs> if you're gonna cry, let it out. She was the brightest hope of the future. She made the greatest sacrifice to save life. It ended up saving the whole wide world. I, I need to know, what is the issue previous to this that, you know, I should read to actually get caught up on how she died? I want to know how she died. I want to see that happen. So we're at the, uh, I guess it's a mosque, right? Sheikh Abdullah is the guy in charge. And we have her friends here gathering. And the first to show up is, oh, it's Logan. Logan shows up. He even says, Asalaamu Alaikum. Wa Alaikum Salaam, my brother. But you're not, oh, you're not from the Quran, but you salam so beautifully. <laughs> I thought that was funny. And then who's coming in? Um, I don't know this guy. But they do name this guy first. The Red Dagger. Uh, I guess that was her kind of like boyfriend almost. And then Captain America comes in. Everyone's mourning. And here we go. Chapter 2. Oh, he's reading Arabic. I was like, what does this say? Uh, I want us to have adventures. This is in Champions, I suppose. Marvel Champions. Uh, yeah, I have issue one. I have issue one through like four, and then I stopped reading. I want us to have adventures in crazy places, in beautiful places that I never had imagined. Lost cities, hidden dimensions. Don't you want that? Mm hmm. So there's Viv, Vision's daughter. Got a couple of Nova Corps people. She was always a great leader, even when. We teamed up against the adventures and they tried to bully us. Keep your condescending to yourself, Falcon. Hercules, pay attention. Please stop running over me when I'm talking, Thor. And here we go, last, last one. I'm not an Avenger anymore. I lead my own team, Falcon. So why don't you shove it? <laughs> and got a couple more people showing up to the party. I forgot what that guy's name is. Bra Brute? No, Braun. Yeah, his name is Braun. Born leader? I always said, excuse me? And then if you read any of Champions, you would know that there was a kind of a hateful competition between Braun and Miss Marvel. I'm the lead. No, I'm the lead, but I'm the smartest one. As the leader of this team, I have a plan. Okay, okay. We might, the heck, can we please? Okay, okay, we might have a little competition going, but she won in the end. She won, that's who I am. Uh, when I don't get all I, what, I, what I want, I forget about it. So you can see here, Braun loves Viv, but he can't, he can't like have her because she is pretty much android and doesn't have the same knowledge as her father. So she doesn't have that way of thinking and feeling like he has for Scarlet Witch. Just seems like you're disconnected is all. Focus on the good times, you know? Focus on the good times. That is the characteristic of mourning. Did the same process occur at my funeral? I note the conflict with Ms. Marvel after being treated as though they are not important. That is a disconnect from reality. Are we debating my mental health here, Viv? What are, What about your disconnection? I am aware of none. From this entire service, you've been disconnected emotionally, like you always do. How can she have any idea what I'm feeling or what it means and why is she even here? Dude, dude, you made your point. Chill, chill. Hey, take it easy, man. Amadeus. Oh, is that is that her name? Yeah, okay, this is no, the Nova Nova girl's name is Amadeus. Is she from Nova? I don't know. You are correct. To fully share the bond of our mourning with our teammates, I must initiate emotional operations. 
Uh, I wouldn't do that if I were you. Grief hurts. I am capable of behaving thoughtlessly. I, of behaving thoughtlessly. I've projected all possibilities and outcomes. And then she like activates, um, probably not the best idea to go ahead and feel grief even though you don't have to. Daughter, are you malfunctioning? Should I intercede? I am functioning, Father. You cannot help me experience sorrow. Viv, Viv, we're here with you. God dang it. The sunlight is killing me right there. We're here with you. We're... Yeah. In ways you never felt before. Her soul was beautiful. Kamala was so... My stomach feels as if it was ripped open. It hurts. I know. I know. It makes everything else hurt. Even interactions with people I love, with all of you, make me weary. It makes me defensive. But, Amadeus, I apologize for what I said. There is nothing disconnected about acknowledging the good to the exclusion of the bad. So who who's Amadeus? Is this guy, is Bronze name Amadeus? Or is this girl's name Amadeus? See, I don't read the too much champions to know. When people you love die, the best thing about them, their loyalty, their humor, their humor, their ability to challenge you constructively, you you can feel those things leaving the world. And this is an unacceptable tragedy that renders the bad feeling well beneath notice. Come on, no. Viv, Viv. Um, it all rises up at once. My brother's dead. My mother's. Wait, what happened to Scarlet Witch? Did she actually die? It's hard to read all the stuff. Mine. My mother's mine? Viv, stop. I'm grieving. And you can shut it off whenever you want. Like all of your other feelings. Will you two knock it off? Show some respect. In the land of grief and heartbreak, you're just a tourist, Viv. And the rest of us, we have to live here. You're the one who told me to activate my emotions. And now you say it is wrong. But funny thing is, he actually didn't say to do this. You kind of just realize that was something you could do. And he's like, wait. You can see that there's unspoken love there when they're fighting with such anger. <laughs> nice mouth, big man. I know. Like she said, everything hurts. If Kamala were here. No, Viv was right about what you did. I know, I know. Goading to her to activate her emotions, then telling her, I said, I know. I'll fix this. Viv! Viv! And she's in the sewer, or she's in the alley? Oh, she's in the alley. Kamala, I miss you terribly. And when you taught us about being the best in the worst of times, I cannot bear the thought of never seeing you again. I don't know how. All I know is that I love you, and I'm sorry. And she like turns off, she turns off and deactivates that whole emotional grieving process, with, which would be a great human strength to have. And our boy Iron Man's here. Iron Man, yes, we're here. Is it okay? A couple of colleagues are gonna show up. Yes, as long as you just recite these things. I don't need any explanation. All you need to do is recite. Transliterate. I was having trouble with this word, phone to Kali. It's phonetically. <laughs> so please read along, thank you. And they reading scripture and prayer. Who's that? Is that Spider Gwen? Could be Spider Gwen, right? The Patriot. All right, Iron Man and Doctor Strange. Um, Magnificent Miss Marvel number one. Do we have that number nine? Oh, it says nine. We definitely don't have that. I thought it said number one. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You have a soft spot for her. I could clearly tell when you brought me in to cure her father's condition, which is in Miss Marvel number nine. I don't know what kind of condition he had, but... Right here, there's this strong urge and temptation to ask you, to ask you, um, because he could reshape, oh yeah, I have the power to reshape reality, and every time someone good dies, I have the temptation to meddle. 
yet, but he's kind of explaining how when you meddle into this temptation, right? There's always some part, there's always a leak, right? He can bring her back and cure the pain for right now, but that pain always comes out somewhere else. Storm, uh, Stark's like, I know that. I don't need you to lecture me. I said I was tempted to ask. And he's like, the lecture, it wasn't for you. Because Doctor Strange feels the same way you do. He thought about going into space time and bringing her back. And when we have Steve Rogers, he's late. Sorry, I'm not too late. I have something to say. Please listen, everyone. And he kind of tells her, like, says she has gumption. She was a great leader. And then we hear some craziness going on outside. Oh, help. What the heck? And then outside we have this guy about this. Oh, wait. Oh, okay. The, there's a truck here and he's spilling boxes out. Nonprofit? I can get those. I can get online for these pills. Now, stop crying before I pound you. Come on, man. People need that medicine. Excuse me. Uh. So everyone comes out of the mosque and they're like, I'm so sorry, but can you please keep it down? Ah, uh, yes. Um, I'm just going to go down to the police station and turn myself in. <laughs> yeah, you better do something. And here we have Peter Parker. He's late, like always. Turns into his alter ego because that was actually Spider-Man. And he's uh, kind of afraid. I don't know what to say since Kamala Khan, Miss Marvel, was killed under his supervision and guidance. All right? Kamala Khan, your daughter was my intern. She was my friend. No, no, no. Kamala Khan, your daughter was my hero. Uh -huh. The end. I didn't cry. I didn't cry. If anyone knows where we can find the death of Kamala Khan, the real part, because obviously she's dead. So this would be the funeral of Kamala Khan. I want to see the death of Kamala Khan and when and what she does to actually sacrifice herself for the end of time and all this. But I did see yesterday a new Kamala Khan outfit is coming out where she's an X-Men. Let me see if I can find it for you guys and I'll put it here at the end of this recording. So there's gonna be a revival. Of course, a revival's coming soon. Anyways, like, comment, subscribe. Peace.